welcome back to Living History with Ted Goldsboro and our guest Patrick McCabe. Uh, we're talking about his family. Uh, we had talked about the quarry business, the McCabe brothers and the Rock Hill Quarry, and now we're on Pat's family. So Pat, uh, when mm -hmm. we left off, mm -hmm. uh, we're talking about your family and your mother had a long life. She lived at 2 Radcliffe Road yes. and eventually she passed away in 1990, I yeah, believe, or maybe 89, uh, December of 89. December 31st, uh, the last 10.30 day the in year. the evening wow, on wow. Uh, December 31st, 1989. Mm. Yes, at the age of 91. Oh. She was born in uh, Philadelphia and lived in Philadelphia and mm. Bala Kenwood her whole life. She lived, you know, from 1931 to 19. 89 and mm. to Radcliffe Road, mm. and uh, uh, it, it was a good life. She was a very kind of simple woman in the sense that she didn't have a great deal of needs or wants or anything like that, but she was a good mother and, uh, and uh, a good wife, and, and I think uh, she raised four children that uh, took the same value she did mm -hmm. at, uh, at her uh, uh, Mass at the St. Matthias Church. Uh, we d we did a little uh, eulogy to her, and the bottom line in the eulogy, I recall, was, uh, "We'll live on your legacy for all our tomorrows." Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. I think we're doing that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she got to meet her grandchildren. She got to meet several of her grandchildren. C.T. Sure, Marty oh, and Pat yeah. and Courtney. Yeah. Yes. And she had two other grandchildren from her, my okay. sister, her daughter. Okay. Stephen, and you used to have Stephen family get-togethers? And we had family get-togethers at, good, at good. my home, mm -hmm. at my sister's home for mm -hmm. all those years, yes. When, it was a good when she was married to your father, did, did they take family trips to get out of the shore, did they? Irregularly, yeah, mm -hmm. from, from time to time. Maybe every other year there would be a week in Wildwood or something like okay. that. Or, or Ocean City from time mm -hmm, to time, mm -hmm. but not on a regular basis. Okay. No, she, she ever get over she to was, Ireland? No, she mm -hmm. never got to Ireland. Never left oh. the, never left the country. We yeah. forgot to mention that when you were in the military, you took a trip. Oh yes, yes. Oh, I I got did, you got to tell me about that. Okay. Well, uh, when I was stationed in Norfolk, Virginia, I had some leave, and I took a trip to Europe. And at the end of the trip to Europe, I spent, I went to Ireland. Uh, and I was the, my my host was a, a cousin who I'd never met before. It happened at the time that my uncle Barney, my father's brother, was back in Ireland on a trip. So that was a convenient way to introduce me. And so uh, I had the opportunity of going to the little village in north northern part of the Republic of Ireland, in County Cavan, where my father was born and uh, walking into the uh, remains of the little house that he grew up in as a kid. And uh, it was a very, very emotional scene, and uh, I'll, I'll never forget it. Uh, but it was, a, it, was a, it was a great trip, and I've, I've been back to Ireland several times, several times since. That's yeah. nice, that's nice. Almost brings a tear to my eye. There you uh, go with your Irish accent again. Yeah, now we yeah. have some pictures of yeah. you and a woman. These are pictures of my dear wife. Um, mm. This is uh, on a vacation someplace. We used to take vacations in the wintertime to a Caribbean island. We did this for probably over 20 years. The only time I could get away from the business was January or February for a week or so, and uh, we, we hit every island in the, mm. in the Caribbean. Mm. Uh, this is a picture that... Uh, it's taken locally at one of our friends' uh, homes in, Gla in Gladwin. Uh, we're both sitting in a hot tub. <laughs> as a matter of fact, I have, thanks to you, Ted, I have that picture as the homepage on my oh. smartphone today. Oh. Oh. And uh, I take a great deal of joy in, uh, mm -hmm. in, in showing that to everybody mm -hmm. and showing them a happy time Good. for Good. Pat and Joan McCabe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and it was. Now, we have a picture here. Was this at, uh, over yeah, at Rock Hill that's, Quarry that's in the office? Joan, Joan, uh, after Courtney went to school, Courtney was the last of our children, mm -hmm. uh, Joan became uh, the, the bookkeeper secretary mm -hmm. at, at Rock Hill. Mm -hmm. And she had had that talent from her work experience as a young young girl before I met and married her. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
that's the role she occupied for mm -hmm. probably 15 years or so oh, oh, at, uh, at, at yeah. Rock Hill. And that, that's mm -hmm. a picture of her sitting in the, in the boss's chair oh. <laughs> in the office. And uh, uh, really, most uh, of the time, I occupied that chair, uh, but she was really the true boss. <laughs> was she good with money, Pat? Good with financing? She was excellent now with you're saving talking. money. Now you're talking. When you say good with money, yeah, could yeah. she spend a lot oh, of it? <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> but I thought she but, helped, uh, like you doubled up on mortgage payments and oh, paid off houses. Oh, yes, houses yes, and, yes, we did. We, okay. we did. She was, did she help she you was with a that? thrifty okay. mother okay. And, and housewife and very uh, conscious of, because she, like I, didn't come from a great deal of of, of economic good fortune okay. as, a, as, a, as a kid. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, there's some of us from that generation, you know, that, that, that had that, that talent that okay. a lot of young people today don't have, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. That, now, Pat, uh, when I looked up, uh, when I knew I was going to interview you, I went on to the Montgomery County website. I looked up the owners of the property at Candace Lane in Villanova, and mm -hmm. it was in the name of Patrick and Joan. And I mm -hmm. expected when I interviewed you the first time, you know, where's Joan? Is you, you mm -hmm. know, are you going to introduce me to her? Mm -hmm. uh, what happened? Well, unfortunately, uh, Joan contracted breast cancer in uh, 1990, uh, and we both struggled with that for 11 years. And we lost her uh, on uh, April 22nd, 2001, 2000, 2001. Uh, so we struggled for 11 years. That was, uh, and, uh, but it wasn't all bad times, Ted. It was, uh, it was a combination of, uh, you have a recurrence three or four times, and then there was good, good times mm -hmm. where she got her health back, and then maybe a year or so later, it's off again, on again. And uh, through all of that, I kind of, uh, I look at, you know, out of every tragedy, there's always blessings. Uh, and I became aware of and got involved with an organization uh, which helps cancer patients today. It's a psychological support group, which today is called the Cancer Support Community. Uh, it's a nationwide organization of, organ of people like that that uh, provide psychological support, uh, uh, support groups where people go and discuss their problems and all kinds of other ancillary uh, activities in, in that line. And I'm uh, over on the board and uh, it serves us a tremendous number of people uh, up and down the main mm -hmm. line and in the city of Philadelphia. You know. Sadly, almost all of us know people who have had or sure. are sick yeah, with it's cancer. Endemic. It's a terrible. Yeah. So. yeah. Someday they'll get they'll they'll get around to finding mm. the causes and, mm -hmm. and and we'll we'll rid ourselves of it. Now we're yeah. getting down towards our closing time here, and we have a nice picture. Well, there's Could a you? picture of uh, what we call in the family the four Patricks. Uh, that's myself sitting in a chair. Uh, my dad in the in the picture frame. That picture hangs in my home, and uh, the uh, gentleman in the middle is my son Patrick the third, and his son Patrick the fourth, who is at that point looks like about eight or nine years old. Uh, today he's a strapping six foot two, <laughs> 195 pound wow. high school senior, mm -hmm. uh, on the way to having a great life. Mm -hmm. uh, I uh, had that done, and uh, the the main part of it hangs in my my son's home. Mm -hmm. um, now, Pat, in, in closing down here, uh, we have pictures of three homes, and I wonder if you could tell us about those. Sure. Well, these are the homes for many many years of the original three McKay brothers. Uh, my dad's home at Two Radcliffe Road, which was the first one built. My Uncle Jim's home, he was the father of uh, six children, his wife, my Aunt Cecilia, and their six children at 350 Trevor Lane. And uh, the last one is 630 Harvard Road, is it 636 Harvard Road uh, in the uh, College Park area. Uh, now, my Uncle Tom, the builder of Amherst Road, which we talked about a lot, 
lived there with his wife. They never had any children. And my Uncle Barney, for a good number of years, was the, the bachelor uh, brother that lived with his brother and his wife. Mm -hmm. uh, so they, they, were, they were their homes. They, they were all built by McCabe brothers. And uh, you know, of course, they're no longer in McCabe mm -hmm. hands, uh, but I'm sure they're serving as a good home mm -hmm. for some And all family. the stone came out of? Came out of Rock Hill. Rock Hill Quarry. Quarry. Yeah. Yes. That's through, a great through legacy. A long period of time. Yeah. yeah. Well, thanks, Ted. It's oh, really I've been, certainly uh, enjoyed our time together. Yeah. You've been very patient with me in sharing yeah. all these family pictures. Well, it's been my and, pleasure. Uh, I hope I, that uh, the audience appreciates that 60 years of, of uh, rock quarrying on uh, yeah. uh, Rock Hill Road yeah. and your life uh, living in Lower Marion Township. And let Thank me just you, say man. this, if yes. anybody sees this uh, on local uh, TV that, uh, and they, they want to talk to me about any phase of uh, the life that I led, uh, I, I would love to make uh, contact uh, oh, with good. them and, and good. Uh, regale ourselves just okay. with memories of, of time past in good. Lower Marion Township. Okay. And I'd like to thank the Lower Marion Historical Society for giving us a lot of, a lot of these pictures. Yes, they've been very helpful. Thank you, Pat, okay. and uh, enjoy being with you. Thank you. Uh, goodbye, audience. We appreciate it being with you, and hope that you'll tune in the next time to Living History with Ted Goldsboro. Mm -hmm.